This week, I'm in Suffolk. I'll be staying with Will Lord, a true British caveman. I love it. Imagine coming up on that. I mean, who lives there? I'll discover how a childhood passion carved his future. Just a cluster of prehistory. Do you feel connected? Yeah, I do feel connected, 100%. And the price he paid for following his dream. It really came through to a point where I felt a bit of a fake, to be honest. God, I'm overtaking uh... you. And how he's steering it back around as I meet him at a new stage in his prehistoric life. Will is so infectious. Every time he's there, I just look at him and I kind of go back in time. I'm going to have to say that you've done some things really well, but that, <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> From London, I travel 130 kilometres to Suffolk, close to the historic market town of Bury St Edmunds. What I love about this country is that you're never far from a completely new landscape. Everywhere is so unique. And Suffolk, of course, is famous for its medieval towns and its beautiful coastline. Look at this. My instructions are to drive to a small village on the outskirts of town. I've also been told to prepare myself for a prehistoric experience. Unexpected. It's not really where I was expecting a, a caveman to live. Where are the dinosaurs? Hello, Will? I hear you knocking, but you can't oh, come in. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. There's no point in knocking on there. I don't live in there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I've just got a house for my son to come round in. I live up the garden. Oh, my goodness me. I'm lost for words. 50-year-old Will Lord grew up in Norfolk on the English heritage site of Grimes Graves, a Neolithic flint mine. His parents were the custodians of the 99-acre site, and Will was given the freedom to roam the huge wilderness beyond. He wasn't academic, but he had a talent for using his hands, and Will would rush home from school to learn prehistoric skills from his dad and the archaeologists on site. But it wasn't until his late 20s, long after he'd left the mines, that Will started to teach others demonstrating Stone Age techniques to schoolchildren and becoming a headliner at bushcraft events. He's now known as one of the best flint nappers in the world. Come on in, then. Oh, wow. This is a feast for the eyes. I feel like I'm almost in a cave, so there's almost cave drawings all around. There's skins everywhere. Am I in the Stone Age now? Well, the Stone Age spans a huge period, and I'm actually dealing with seven million years <laughs> of time. <laughs> seven. OK, that, that's done my head in. Seven million years in here. It spans all the way back to Salanthropus trigensis, and then I go through all the different species of mankind, and I finally drop off at what we call the Bronze Age. 